right, all right, all right. I'm going to clean them, all right. The only thing I hate is lamp cleaning. I do, I loathe lamp cleaning. They get on my wick. <laughs> <laughs> what a start. Well, they are. The, they, they, honestly, the lamps flaming things. Anyway. <laughs> there we are. Well, greetings, citizens. The prologue. The prologue. Now, our story this week concerns Leda and the Swan. Leda and the Swan. Now, this is taken from the Greek. And it came to pass that once upon a time, there was a beautiful maiden named Leda. Leda. And also a god, a god called Zeus. And this was the number one god, which was marvellous, really, because the week before, he was only number 16. It was a marvellous, you know, fantastic <laughs> class in the charts. And this god, Zeus, looked down on Earth and he saw this maiden, Leda, and he fancied her, see? So he said, right. He said, I will go down to Earth. <laughs> He's... Are you expecting anybody? <laughs> Psst. Pardon? <laughs> Psst, I am not. <laughs> Touch the drop, I swear it. <laughs> Is this the house of Senator Ludicrous Sextus? Yes, that's the house of. Shh. Well, you said, is that the house of. Shh. <laughs> well, what's all the shh? That must be you know who. <laughs> anyway, this prologue. Now, this god Zeus came down to Earth. And he came to, to, in search of this girl, Leda, and he was dressed as a swan. Now, don't ask me why, but, well, I suppose he was, you know, he, was, oh, he wanted a bit of swan-upping. Swan-upping, you know, see? That, well, that's sport. That's a sport that gets swans down. You see, swans down. Oh, it's going to be a battle tonight. <laughs> Pull yourselves together now. Now, anyway, the th it... <laughs> Psst, we've done that gag. <laughs> Oh, we haven't done that. <laughs> is this the house of ludicrous sex? Yes, that's that. What you said is that the Shh. house of. <laughs> and you remember the three wise monkeys and keep your counsel? Yes, and you remember the three brass monkeys and. <laughs> <laughs> and keep out of the draft. <laughs> What a funny man, isn't he? What's going on in there? Stro anyway, the prologue. Anyway, this Zeus, this god dressed as a swan, was waddling round the town looking for leader, you see. Hence the expression, take me to your leader. <laughs> anyway, it was an ex... <laughs> we should never finish the prologue at this rate, will we? <laughs> Dear, isn't she misery? She's a... This is... No, this is the... This is Senna, the soothsayer. Senna. And I might say a little of her goes a long way. No. <laughs> What's the matter, love? Beware the Ides of March! Pardon? Beware the Ides of March! Oh. Oh, I will. I promise you I will. I had a visitation during the night. Yeah, I thought you looked a bit washed out today. <laughs> well, she shouldn't do it. You're, you're past that. No! Murder? Whoa, whoa, and thrice, whoa! Oh, go, go, and thrice, go, dear. <laughs> oh, honestly, she's a real mystery. She puts the mockers on you, doesn't she? She really does. Now, the prologue. Now, this god Zeus was wandering around looking for Leda, you see, dressed as a swan. And he caught up with her. And they sort of got together, you know. And much, don't ask me how. But the mind boggles. Anyway, <laughs> the result of this strange union was Leda laid an egg. <laughs> Just as I'm doing with this prologue. Anyway, <laughs> this... Oh. Is this the house of Ludicrous Six... Psst! Psst. Ludicrous what? <laughs> Doesn't know his part. Ludicrous. Don't know who you're looking for. Ludicrous... Ludicrous Sextus. That's right, it's the sex parts upset you, isn't it? <laughs> Psst. Oh, Psst. thank you. <laughs> Other way, that's it. 
there's something going on in there. I'd like to know what it is, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. Excuse me. Let's go. Let's see what's going on. What is going on in here? Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. There's a board meeting. <laughs> and there's no board more boarded than that lot, I'll tell you. Gentlemen, let us get down to business. <laughs> no, 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 the conspiracy. Oh, yes, very well. Run along, my darlings, outside, but keep your meters running. <laughs> <laughs> that, kink, that kinky old devil. Now, that's my master, Ludicrous Sexus, the one with the maxi toga. There, you see. <laughs> but this is our chance, Ludicrous. Caesar may never visit Pompey again. We must assassinate him. But he is our emperor. Shh. We must. Shh. But just tell me why he must be killed. The gods have decreed it. He is ruining our beloved country. Oh. He is courting disaster abroad. And besides, why should all the fun things always happen in Rome? He must be assassinated here. Yes, I dare say, but. Shh. Oh, let's get away from here. Get away. We mustn't get mixed up in any nasty business. Oh, no. Assassination of Caesar. Mind you, you can't be wondered at because he's been the ruination of the country, no Caesar. Oh, the ruination. I mean, what with the wage freeze and, and the purchase tax? <laughs> but it's true. I mean, now I hear they are, they're even putting curbs on pavements. <laughs> you see, if you try to do anything subtle, they don't see it. It's not <laughs> Prologue. <laughs> now, leader laid this egg. Now, it burst, and out popped two twins. Because it was a double yolk. <laughs> <laughs> two twins. And they were called, well, one was called Caster, and the other, listen, <laughs> Caster. And what was the other called? Pollux. <laughs> Caster and Pollux. Now, <laughs> as Caster, he was a he was listen, he was a bit oily. But, and as for Pollux, well, <laughs> the less said about him, the better. Now <laughs> the thing was, the distinct these twins were distinctive because they were laid, laid and not born. Lucky oh, lucky oh. Talking of being laid. <laughs> That's my mistress, Ammonia. Now, there's a funny woman. What? She's always at it. Always at it. I should say so. Well, round here they call her sunrise. Call her sunrise. Because a night never passes without it. <laughs> oh, mistress. Lurk you, lurk you. Oh, there yeah. you are. Hurry quickly. I want you. And, oh, you see, if it's not one thing, it's the other. <laughs> It isn't the other. <laughs> oh, this is far more serious, oh. Lurkio. I have just heard a fantastic plot. Oh, good. Well, tell it to us. We need it this week, don't we? <laughs> My husband and three other senators are planning to assassinate Caesar. Assassinate Caesar? Mm. Psst. No, they're not. Oh, we... <laughs> we've done that gag. No, no, Lurkio. I don't want my husband and ludicrous sextus mixed up in this no. sort of thing. You must go in there and, uh... Oh, dear, dear, dear. What is the word I'm looking for? Stop. Ah, that's right. Yes, you must go in there and stop him. You see? Stop. That's the word she hasn't used since she was a teenager. <laughs> I can't go in there, mistress. I must do the prologue about Leda and the swan. I don't care about Leda and the swan. Oh. This is far more important. Meanwhile, I shall go and try and warn Caesar, just as... Uh, as soon as I have dressed. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hello. It, it, it must be as serious if she's going to get dressed. <laughs> now, well, look, I'd better go in there. better do as she wants. Will you be all right here on your own? You'll be all right, will you? Make the cocoa or something. I shan't keep you long. <laughs> Very well, then, gentlemen. But who shall strike the first blow? One good thrust should be enough. Yes, but who? Let us draw for the honour. Good. Good idea. Okay. Now, master, master, excuse the protrusion. No, 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 not now, Lurkio. Oh, we are in the midst of big discussions. Oh. Bring straws. Uh, pardon? Straws. Oh, cheese or savoury? <laughs> no, no, Lurkio, oh, the sort we use for drawing lots. Oh, yeah. Ah, well, yes, you left those last night up in the handmaiden's room, in Sopia's room, you know. When you were deciding whose turn it was, don't oh, you remember? Da, 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 da. <laughs> what are you, you touching for, Master? I mean, you won, didn't you? <laughs> Straws. Straws, yes, Master. Yes. Now, come on, my young Master. He won't hurt you. No, no, Sophia. You must be good. Oh, but I am good. You can ask any of the fellas round here. Come on. <laughs> Sophia, please. Leave him alone, the young Master. I know, I know where he hasn't been. Please. Now. <laughs> 
Find your straws and get out. I've still got them on. No. <laughs> straws, not drawers. <laughs> oh, she is common. She really is. Oh, you mean no straws? Yes, really? straws. Yes, now come on then. They are. You having another raffle? Having a what? Another raffle. Yes, and this time you aren't the prize, so don't bother. <laughs> yes. Oh dear, poor soul. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to have to carry around all day. <laughs> Might as well come to that. Um, yes. Oh, these are seething hot. She must have been lying on them. <laughs> lying on them. These are seething hot. She must have been lying on them. I don't understand her, Lurkia. She's such a strange girl. Yeah, she is strange, all right. Yeah. I've always had this feeling that she wanted something from me. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> yes. And then this Well, I've got a feeling if I didn't come in and when I did, she'd have got it. <laughs> Well, this morning, I suddenly realised what it was that she wanted. Oh, ha, ah, yes. So I came straight to her room. Did you? And did you give it to her? Yes. I put it under the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ode. An, an ode? Oh, we might have known. I it's wrote an, it this morning. Did you? An ode. Oh, an ode. An ode to Sopia. Such a pretty name. I knew not what she wanted of me. Till I thought this morn, I thunk up. <laughs> get ready, get ready. Tis clear that all she really wants is a pure and simple friendship. <laughs> that doesn't rhyme. No. I just thought of one. Now that's enough. <laughs> Let's go before the phone calls start coming in. Go with it. <laughs> Very well, gentlemen, there is only one thing to decide. Who shall have the honour to draw first? Let us draw for it. There, so be it. Well, then, only remains one decision. Who shall have the honour of drawing first to decide who shall draw first? Oh, enough of this shilly-shallying. We will have only one draw. He who has the longest straw shall do the deed. Oh, very good idea, yes. Lurk you, lurk you. The straws, the straws. I've, I've got the straws. Oh, let us draw, then. Mm. There's the straws. I've got a short one. So have I. <laughs> I have a short one. I also. They're very modest, these Romans. Aren't they? <laughs> then who has the long one? Well, <laughs> I have. I'm holding it here in my hand. So be it. It is the decision of the gods. You shall be the one. Oh, good. The one to what? To plunge a dagger into Caesar's foul black heart. Foul <laughs> black heart? Oh, my. Yes. Plunge a dagger into Caesar's foul black heart. Oh, I can't plunge a dagger into foul black heart. You refuse this honor? I certainly refuse. Don't, don't be so foolish, Lurkio. This is your chance to achieve fame. Your name will go down to history. Everywhere you go, you will be pointed out as the man who plunged the dagger into Caesar's oh, foul black heart. <laughs> no, I don't like being pointed out. Well, then honors will be heaped upon you. No, I don't like heaps. You move in high places. I, I loathe. With heights. Women will throw themselves at you in gratitude. Oh, where's the dagger? Here. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, I can't no. do it, can I? After all, I'm, I'm the hero, aren't I, of this? Can't do anything nasty. No, I won't. I refuse to do this dastardly deed. Then you will be thrown to the lions. Thrown to the lions? Oh, well, well, I suppose if I must thrust, I must. It's either thrust or bust. <laughs> You'll find Caesar at the Senate building. He has rooms there. Oh, well, what does he look like? I've never seen him before. What does he look like? What do you mean to say you've never seen Caesar? Never see no, master. Why, he's... Uh, well, he's got... Uh, uh, well, come to think of that, I've never seen him myself. Oh, nor I. Nor I. Nor I. He oh. never had a bust. Oh, he's flat-chested, I see. <laughs> to be quite simple to pick him out. They say he's a fine figure of a man, handsome of face, noble of bearing, and every inch a Caesar. Hear now the wise words of Plautus. Not for nothing was Julius Caesar known as the 12-inch ruler. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the mighty Caesar? No, I am ponderous, general to the mighty Caesar. And what do you want? I must see Caesar immediately. Impossible, he's getting ready to meet the senators of Pompeii. I care not, I tell you, I must see him at once. He, 
He's in the bathroom. Do you know who you're speaking to? It is a matter of life and death that I see the mighty Caesar. What is all this noise? Cannot mighty Caesar spend a drachma in peace? <laughs> <laughs> It's me again. I'm playing two parts. <laughs> what? Lawrence Oliver? Are you kidding? <laughs> I should get an Oscar for this. What giveth out there? Keep her in here. She's just a woman, O oh Caesar. Uh, Frantic for a glimpse of your noble features. Uh, I'll get rid of her. No, no, don't, 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 don't. Bring her in at once. One never knows one's luck. Bring her in. But my <laughs> Caesar, the senators wait without. Well, let them wait. Caesar has been without ever since he left Rome. Yes, I do understand, but these are delicate matters. We must be discreet. You know how women talk. Well, I know how they used to. I used to know. But after six months of warring... Warring. <laughs> W-A-R-R-I-N-G. Well, you see, if you try to keep it clean, they won't let you. <laughs> after six months of warring, I've forgotten how they look, let alone how they talk. Very well, oh, Caesar. I will bring her in. Yes, and quickly. Otherwise, mighty Caesar will descend upon you from a great height. <laughs> Very well, woman. Caesar will see you now. Oh, mighty Caesar, I have come to warn you. <laughs> you are mighty Caesar, aren't you? Well, yes, of course I am. What do you think this is, Scotch mist? <laughs> that face? Oh, it is so familiar. Who does he remind me of? But never mind, what a man. Handsome of face, noble of bearing, and every inch a Caesar. What a woman. Attractive of face, ample of bearing, <laughs> and every inch a scrubber. <laughs> Methinks mighty Caesar will finally score. <laughs> oh, Caesar! <laughs> woman! You spake of danger to mighty Caesar's life. Why sayeth you thus so? Yes, why sayeth you thus so? I did not say thus so. Well, someone said thus so. <laughs> Otherwise, we should all be saying, why sayeth you thus so? Try again. I said I have come to warn you that your life is in danger. And I said, why sayeth you thus so? Yes, and I said, why sayeth you thus so? Thus so, I say thus. <laughs> uh, do not adjust your set. <laughs> there is a fault in the script. <laughs> Caesar, I overheard a plot to assassinate you. I beg of you, leave Pompeii at once. Leave Pompeii? You must be mad. They love me here. They love me. But, madam, since you are so interested in my life, my life story, I will tell it to you. My whole life story, everything. Leaving no asterisk. <laughs> Unturned. Oh. oh, mighty Caesar, I shall enjoy that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, while I'm telling you the tale, why not slip into something more comfortable? For instance, bed. <laughs> oh, mighty Caesar, it is a great honor that you do me. <laughs> Here now is the wit and wisdom of Plautus. It is a well-known fact that in those days the ladies of Rome considered it a great honour to be done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aponderus, in the words of the Persian carpet salesman, you may beat it. <laughs> Madam, will you come this way? Would you care to recline? <laughs> 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 he spake of a plot on Caesar's life. I wonder, is this possible? Beware the Ides of March! Beware the Ides of March! The Ides of March! Of course, Caesar's life is indeed in danger. The oracles have foretold it. I must think of a plan to save him. Oh, no, don't, please. Oh, put me down. No, oh, what is please the noise? Put me down. We found this slave lurking around the Senate, General. Yes, well, you see, I was waiting for a number 14 chariot. <laughs> He was carrying this. Well, I was only doing me nails. I mean, I was... <laughs> ah, I knew it. One of Caesar's would-be assassins. Take him away. Execute him. Oh, no, don't, please. No, don't, don't execute me, please. I'll be good. I, it wasn't my fault. I'm, I'm please, no, I, I haven't have... finished yet. <laughs> How's to go here to this? <laughs> Where's my big scene, this? <laughs> oh, please don't have it die. <laughs> I'm too young to die, too young. <laughs> God, I'm too young. Nobody goes to sleep when I'm on. i <laughs> I'm too young. Oh, I'm pleading with you. I'm pleading. 
Can you not plead better than that, fool? Oh, no, I'm a miserable pleader. <laughs> Turn away. Nate, stay your hand. Yes, stay your hand. That face, that voice, that figure, it gives me ideas. Oh, no, I'd rather be executed. <laughs> Beavis. Kids, this is the time to get the parents to bed. Get the parents to bed. <laughs> Tis a Greek likeness that he doth bear to Caesar. I will sound him further. Now then, miserable slave. Yes? How would you like to save the life of the mighty Caesar? Oh, yes, I like that. I, yes, save the life. Yes. yes, yes. Well, simply, you take his place when he makes his public appearance. Oh, yes. Caesar's place. Yes. Then, when yes. the assassins strike, yeah. Caesar will live. Ah, that's good. And you will die. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Take off your clothes. Pardon? Put these on. Oh, dear. He had me worried again for a moment. <laughs> Put these on. They're Caesar's. Caesar's? I'm not wearing those. Put these on. They're Caesar's. I will not wear Caesar's clothes. Guards, throw him to the lions. What a pretty colour. <laughs> no peeking now. Right, no peeking now. Oh, mighty Caesar, how wonderful to feel your strong arms around me. <sighs> Your lithe body pressed close to mine. Your capable hands caressing me. Your rugged knees entwined. <laughs> oh, mighty Caesar. <laughs> How wonderful to feel your rugged knees entwined with mine. Your capable hands caressing me. Oh, yes. oh your beautiful big feet. Just a second. No, I lost my cluster. I'm all right. <laughs> Ah, oh, be mine, be mine. Oh, your lips, your lips are like ripe cherry jones. Your throat is like a swan's. Your, your shoulders are like... Your sh Wait a minute! Your shoulders are like the Venus de Milo. Your, your bosoms are like the round hills of Rome. What are my eyes? I'm not going that way, I'm sorry. <laughs> Be mine, be mine. Oh, do you really think we ought to? Well, may as well. It's bitter out. I mean... <laughs> well, <laughs> well it'll, it'll, it'll pass an hour. An hour? Yeah, 30 minutes each way. Oh, no, no. <laughs> that's all. That's, that, that's the end of that scene. <laughs> no, oh. Aren't they nosy? <laughs> Do you mind, please? Cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 mine. Oh, damn mosquitoes. <laughs> Come, slave. Hurry. You must have finished changing by now. Come, slave. Hurry. You must have finished changing by now. Come. Slave, by now changing, finished, you must. <laughs> there is a breathless hush in the close tonight. An hour to play and the last man in. There's a bumping pitch and a blinding light. This captain's hand on his shoulder smote. Hurry up, hurry up, and play. Ah. Well, how do I look? It is amazing. Yes. An incredible likeness. I find it difficult to believe. Yes, I thought you might. <laughs> Hope you can believe it. <laughs> but must try and force yourselves, because it's important to the play that you can remember exactly who I am all through the whole play. You understand exactly who I am all the time. Who am I now? You have done well, slave. Well, that's right, slave. I'm the slave disguised as Caesar. You understand? Now you must stay here. Yes. While I shall go to inform Caesar of our plan. Caesar, must you go? I must. Oh, dear, I'll have to pop behind the screen again now. <coughs> I forgot to adjust my dress before leaving. I shan't be stretched too <laughs> Oh, Caesar, this is a lovely game. I am enjoying it. Yes, it's much better than swapping senators. <laughs> yes, it's a lovely game, Caesar, and so good for the figure. What do you call keep it? Going, hurry up, keep, going, keep going, keep going. Oh, how original. Yes, Caesar. Oh, it is a lovely game. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, yes, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh Caesar, what a lovely game. What do you call it? Uh, Ben-Hur. Ben-Hur? Yes, you're Ben-Hur, I'm Ben-Him. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, mighty Caesar. Yeah, no, no. Where is he? I'm down here. 
<laughs> oh, Caesar, I must speak to you at once. Now, later, later. Uh, this is something that will not keep. What do you think this will, then? <laughs> I beseech you. Eh? Oh, all right. Um, would you mind dismounting, madam? <laughs> I'm getting a bit of saddle rash. <laughs> uh, what do you want, ponderous? I must speak to you at once, oh, Caesar. Uh, the bathroom? Pardon? A bathroom. We must have one. You speak for yourself. <laughs> a conference. Oh, a conference. Yes, yes, I understand. Right. Goodbye, my fairest one. If I'm not back in five minutes, start without me. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Yes. All right, then. Now. Oh, this is ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, it's stupid. When I said I'd do that, I'm flogging myself to death here. The BB said it would all be done with mirrors. I can't see a mirror in the place, can you? A mirror. The way they're spending the bloody money on, I tell you. It's not on the actors, I'll tell you that. Well, uh, now, where are the drama? Where are our general? Where, where's he gone? Behind you. Hey? Behind you. Behind you? Well, you're here? Yeah. Oh. General, are you here? Oh, my oh. Caesar, what kept you so long? Uh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Ammonia, my mistress. Mistress, did you say? Oh, how no. thrilling. I, Ammonia of Pompeii, mighty Caesar's mistress. Oh, thank you. Oh, my... <laughs> oh, my mistress. Get up, please, get up. No, I am your slave. Oh, and I, dear heart, am yours. No, oh, please. <laughs> Come, let us continue with our game. Well, game, uh... Yes. What shall I do? Shall I tell her? Yes. I'll tell her the truth. I'll throw myself on her mercy. Oh, mistress, I have been a naughty slave. Do with me what you will. Oh, that's right. You're the horse and I'm taking you to the stable for your oats. <laughs> <laughs> oats? Madam, no, not now. Your husband may find out. My husband? What means you? My master, Ludicrous Sextus. Who told you his name? Oh, I am betrayed. My husband must know the whole story. Well, I'm glad somebody does. Because <laughs> I don't know, I can't make it. Oh, tell you, can you? Be no. ruled by me, O oh Caesar. Have I ever failed you in the past? Tis a good plan, O oh Caesar. An excellent plan, Ponderous. Go to it. See, is that marvellous, isn't it? You see, you didn't know I was a ventriloquist, did you? <laughs> well, I'm not. That was recorded beforehand. <laughs> Thank you, O oh Caesar. I will go immediately. Now, if he comes out with Caesar, now we've had it. Ah, oh, come, slave. You have done well. Thank you. Caesar has approved our plan. We must go to meet the people. Slave? Why is he calling mighty Caesar a slave? I thought he looked familiar. If that was our slave, Lurkio, then Caesar must still be in the bathroom. Caesar! Oh, dear. Caesar! Here we go again. Excuse me. Caesar, I know you're in there. Come out immediately or I shall come in and get you. Ah, there oh. you are at last. Well, I've got the wrong toga on, wouldn't I? <laughs> Now, wait a minute. We'll push us here, then. Well, don't push. <laughs> this is embarrassing, isn't it? Come here. What do you think this is? An audition? Get back in there. Keep going. Ah, there you are at last. Yes. Oh, I haven't got me crust off. I've got me crust off. Honestly, <laughs> this is too much for one man. Where's me crust? Hey? Here you are, you fool. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. Was that clever, that? You notice that? Marvellous, isn't it? Clever trick. I bet you're wondering how it was done. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to tell you. But it's a very good thing my mother bears such a strong resemblance to me. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me see. Where are we now? We've... So there, and the, and the straws, and the knickers, and the rumpo, and the, and the, and the horse oats, and the knicker, uh, <laughs> dung, uh, that's right, yes. I'm Caesar. Oh, be mine, be mine. No, oh, no, no, it cannot be. My husband knows all I am undone. I know, I was one undid did you? I know. <laughs> <gasps> oh, it is my husband. Your oh, husband? Oh, you. Oh, Oh, excuse me, I was looking for that. Oh. <gasps> Lurkio! Oh. Lurkio? I am Caesar. Mighty oh. Caesar. Vile and treacherous slave. Is this what you do behind my back? Oh, I'm Caesar. I'm Caesar in this. Lurkio is the brown toga. I've got the red one. Caesar. <laughs> oh, I tell you, mighty Caesar, he thinks. 
I'm sure he's slave Lurkio. Oh, Lurkio, oh, Lurkio. Oh, he's a silly old fool. He really is a silly I know not what you're doing here dressed like that, but you were closeted with my wife, and my honour must be a Seize him! No, 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 please, I beg you. This is a private matter between me, my wife, and my slave. You call trying to assassinate the mighty Caesar a private matter? The mighty Caesar? It can't be. Of course he is the mighty Caesar. You are. Aren't you? Of course yes, he I is. Lurkio went out of that one and Caesar came in that no, one. No, 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 no. I was talking to Lurkio in there and Caesar went out that way. Oh, no, he couldn't have done that. No, 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 I no, came no, in no, that no, way. And then why do you mind, No, no, no. Aloy! Look, I know Caesar is. I'm playing the parts. I ought to know who I am. <laughs> I am Caesar. Oh, then, mighty Caesar, I am indeed sorry I threatened your life, but I truthfully thought that you were my slave, Lurkio. <laughs> well, he looks exactly like me. The mighty Caesar look like a slave rubbish. Well, he, he does, does you know. He does he look like he does. He does. Yes, he does. Doctor's up us. <laughs> mighty Caesar look like a slave. Bring this slave, Lurkio, to me here now. Let us confront each other, face to face. Caesar. Oh, God, what have I said? <laughs> master, master! Oh, that's him coming master. now! Bring, leave him there! Bring, leave him there! Don't bring him in! Oh, no, don't bring him in. Think how it will spoil my image if a, a slave had the glorious face of a Caesar. It is a well-known fact that all the Caesars were two-faced. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a day. What a day. Oh, never again. Anyway, it all worked out right in the end. Caesar forgave Ludicrous for trying to assassinate him, and uh, Ludicrous forgave Caesar for trying to nobble his wife. And they all went round the corner afterwards and had a nice quiet drink, and it was all very nice. The only thing was, of course, that Caesar uh, never got to meet the senators of Pompey just as well, because, ah, now it's very funny. See, he'd forgotten. He had a do on that night in Rome. He'd forgotten all about it, you see, a meeting. It was at the Ides of March, you see. And uh, he'd arranged to meet his pals in Rome, like Brutus and Cassius and all that lot, you see. Anyway, they all lived happily ever after. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the prologue. Woo! The... Woo! And thrice woo! Oh. The time has come! The end is here! Oh, oh thank goodness I thought you'd never get here. Well, believe me, I'm absolutely frazzled. I am frazzled, that's the word. <laughs> Actually, well, no, no, no. No, no, would you like to see my frazzle? <laughs> All right, next week. Salute, next week. <laughs> Thank you.